it is rare for a movie to scare the crap out of me. So when it does happen, it is a very welcome experience. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for Alien Romulus. After the last two films, Prometheus and Covenant, being directed by Ridley Scott, it is welcome to see a change. Not to say that those two films didn't try something different, but they definitely probably were outreaching what they actually could attain. This film, while maybe playing it a little bit safe, does really bring back a lot of elements that people really liked about the Alien films. If a little bit much maybe on the nostalgia aspect, this film will absolutely scare the crap out of you. This film is following Rain and her group of colonists who are basically stuck in a deathlock trap with Weyland Yutani on this planet, and they have found a means of getting off planet via stealing cryo tubes from a defunct facility hovering above the planet and using those to travel to a planet that's about nine years away. Of course, it's not that easy. As they get onto the ship, they start to realize that not everything is as it appears, and there was some pretty shady shit happening on this station because, of course, it's Weyland Yutani, and they love playing God despite the fact that it never works out. Not a great plan. And these guys start to get picked off one by one, all the while trying to figure out a way to get off the station, but finding themselves cornered by newer and more terrifying enemies. I was immediately put into this sense of worry and fear right from the onset. There's always that little thing about the IMAX theater that you can hear a pin drop. The guy going through his popcorn bag in the first opening minute, I think everyone and their goddamn mother could hear him. I've had an interesting relationship with Fide and his movies. I think his Evil Dead remake is pretty good. I thought Don't Breathe was really good until he introduced Turkey Baster. The guy definitely has this love for horror, but also a bit on the cinematic shock value. I feel there's a difference between him and Eli Roth. Eli Roth loves gore. BDA loves to really make the audience uncomfortable, but also shoot it really well. And he does that tenfold of this movie. Not only was I terrified of the face huggers, not only was I terrified of the aliens, but I was genuinely caring for these characters to get out of it. Not all of them. There obviously are some stereotype red shirt assholes. And Alvarez has had that in all of his movies and it's no different here. But I did want Rain to succeed. I wanted her and Andy, who is her cybernetic brother slash a, co a companion, to get off of this station. And I actually have to give credit, out of all the actors in this movie, the best person by far is the guy who played Andy. The Andy goes through a little bit of a trip himself. He's not just the same android throughout and has a really cool little twist into the film. As an overall film, the production value is fantastic. The cinematography is great. It gives you so much dread, mystery with every shot. And there are some genuine shots in here that will scare the shit out of you. And they don't require a jump scare brom. Sure, there are maybe a couple here and there, but there are some genuine loud noises that just get you fucking pissed. One shot at the very end of the movie that actually made me go holy shit because it was terrifying. The score is good. The tension's good, the acting's good, the plot is almost really good. And this is where I'm gonna slightly dip into the complaints. While I do find it a very interesting form of brain rot for people who really like Covenant and Prometheus, you guys enjoy what you like. The thing that I will not deny that all those guys have is at least those movies tried something different. Romulus really doesn't. It dips into all of the alien movies and at first it's really subtle it's there in pieces here and there is more so of a friendly welcome back to the kind of feeling it's not on a member berries level but it's there it's a comfort feeling but then as the movie goes along there's a few that just start to get a bit like like there's one in particular it just didn't need to be there and the instant that it was set up i could hear other people in the theater go oh come on don't do it and something about fide is he loves going fucking wackadoo in the last quarter of his movies the turkey baster from don't breathe is a massive example kind of does something similar with this didn't need to be there not really did it make it a lot more like wow sure some people might be a little bit torn away by that ending bit and I can understand why. I thought it made it real creepy and I thought it made it really intense and again it leads to one of the best scares of the whole fucking movie. I'm kind of willing to forgive it in some aspects. There are moments in the movie that I really wish weren't so reliant on nostalgia. It almost felt like it was a quota rather than an actual legitimate put into the film. Those little grievances aside, this is still my favorite alien movie in years. I'm kind of wanting to tempted to put it in the top three, if not the top four. I think it's a great inclusion to the series. It is 
exactly what a lot of us alien fans want and yes some of you can be like well you get the same story all the time if any of you have gone through the dark horse comics is literally the same fucking story over and over and over and over and over and over again so but it's still told well for anyone who is a huge fan of this series i would absolutely recommend seeing it in the end i'm gonna give alien romulus a five out of seven i probably will actually go and see this again because everyone kept talking about the 4x or the 40x or whatever the side viewing thing with Bobby. They've talked about it so much, it kind of makes me curious if they actually did something with it because I went and saw it with Avatar 2 and I thought it was like, okay, I guess, cool, side projection, whatever. So maybe they've actually utilized it. Anyways, guys, that's all for me. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested more, subscribe. What are your favorite alien movies? Did you guys like this movie? What'd you think about it? Let me know in the comments below and let's have a discussion. Until then, guys, I'll see you next time.